Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. You guys are currently looking at the competitors list for this weekend's Prague Pro, and I think it's going to be a pretty good show. We have Horse MD, Nathan Diasha, Samson Dowda, Roman Fritz, Marco Crizzo, Jan Tarek, Liang Yan, and also a lot of other very good bodybuilders. Now, in this video, I will be breaking down the guys who I think will be in the top five, and then I will be giving you guys my top five predictions. Now, one guy that I don't have in the top five, but he could definitely get there, is Liang Yan. Great bodybuilder, freaky proportions. He could end up in the top five, but for the sake of this video, I have him placing in six. But let's go ahead and get into the breakdowns in no specific order, of course. And let's start with Marcelo DeAngelis, Horse MD. This guy made his open debut last week at Romania and took third place, beating out Nathan Diasha. I'm not sure if anyone had Horse MD beating Nathan last week prior to the show. But going into this weekend's Prague Pro, I think we're going to see an even better version of Marcelo than what we saw at the Romania Pro. He came in and took third place once again, taking out Nathan Diasha. I've seen him over every single Brazilian bodybuilding page. This guy probably has millions of people supporting him. I think he's going to come in even better to this show hopefully a little bit tighter, and hopefully he has worked on his posing a little bit. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is the guy to beat, Samson Dowda, the third best bodybuilder on the planet right now. And more than likely, Samson is going to add another win to his resume after this weekend's Prague Pro. I believe the Prague Pro was actually Samson Dowda's first pro win back in 2021. But it looks like Samson is even better than last week. You guys may say I'm absolutely crazy. It may only be 1%, but it looks like Samson gets a little bit more detailed every time that he competes. And we know that Samson needs better conditioning. Some of us are bringing up the conversation of he probably has thicker skin. It's just genetics. But again, I do believe that Samson is slowly but surely adding more detail to his physique. But I guess we'll see in just a few days at the Prague Pro. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is Roman Fritz. And this will actually be Roman's ninth show of the year, including the Mr. Olympia. And I can see the argument being made that Roman has done a lot of shows. He probably isn't going to look his best at this weekend's Prague Pro. But I believe that Roman actually looked his best in his sixth show of the year, which was the France Pro. And Roman actually ended up in fourth place at this show. But with that being said, I do think that Roman will finish in the top five in this show, mostly due to his crazy conditioning. And let's talk about Michael Crizzo. I grabbed this footage from his YouTube channel. I will put the link in the description below. And if you guys don't watch Michael Crizzo train, I highly recommend you do. Crizzo looks like Mr. Olympia in the gym. And I'm pretty sure most of us are expecting this show to come down to Samson Dowda and Michael Crizzo and Samson Dowda to walk away with the win. But this show could get interesting. Last week, it was Samson versus Bay Rules, and Bay Rules brought so much conditioning and detail, it was a night and day difference. But Samson was just entirely too muscular. Michael Crizzo has the muscle to hang with Samson Dowda and also displays a crazy amount of detail. Not as much as Bay Rules, but a lot of detail, especially from the back. And I forgot to mention that Crizzo is the 2023 Impro Classic Champion and currently the seventh best bodybuilder on the planet. Now, the last guy we're going to talk about before the predictions is Nathan Diasha, the prophecy. Nathan has two pro wins this year, France and Italy, and a close second place at the Europa Pro. Last week in Romania, Nathan ended up slipping down to fourth place. And Nathan really has to work on his shoulder issues. It could possibly be something else, but I think Nathan has shoulder mobility issues and it gives him trouble bringing up his arms in the front and the back double bicep. I just wanted to mention that. But I think Nathan did miss the mark at Romania. Again, I'm not sure if he just missed his peak and he's going to be better this week. Or Nathan has possibly just done entirely too many shows. Now, in the past, Nathan is a guy that can compete multiple times and continue to improve. But I'm not sure. You guys let me know. Did Nathan just miss the mark in Romania and he's going to be a lot better at the Prague Pro? Or does Nathan need a little bit of time off? But let's go ahead and get into my prediction, starting with fifth place, Roman Fritz. I believe Roman's conditioning will land him a spot within the top five, but I still think he needs more density, especially in the upper body, to move up in a lineup like this because it is a very competitive one. And for my fourth place prediction, unfortunately, I have Nathan Diasha. 
I looked at the footage again of Nathan versus Horse MD at the Romania Pro, and I don't think that they were too far apart. I think Horse MD is more muscular overall, but Nathan has more polished, better stage presence. He's just overall more comfortable on this stage. But again, Nathan has done a lot of shows this year. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to hit the mark at this weekend's Prague Pro, and Horse MD already has the nod. Now that leads me into my third place prediction, Marcelo DeAngelis. This guy's probably on cloud nine right now. In his open debut, he took out Nathan Diasha, who has over 10 pro wins. He also got to stand next to the third best bodybuilder on the planet in Samson Dowda. A lot of people supporting this guy. I think he's going to bring it to this weekend show. And I'm not expecting crazy improvements from Marcelo. If he can just come in a little bit more conditioned, I think it'll be a win. And for my second place prediction, I have Michael Crizzo. And just one year ago, Crizzo was a guy we were asking to see better conditioning from, more detail, and Crizzo definitely delivered on that pretty quickly. I think Crizzo needs more size on the legs, and that's going to be an issue standing next to Samson Dowda. Crizzo's legs look pretty good straight on, but in the side and back poses, I think you can tell that he still needs a little bit more size in that area. But again, Crizzo brings detail that Samson Dowda does not have throughout the back and the glute, so... It could be interesting, but I'm going to take Michael Crizzo in second place. And for the win, I have the Nigerian Lion, Samson Dowda. After placing top three at the Mr. Olympia, Samson is on an absolute tear. I watched multiple stories he made on Instagram just really saying how grateful he was to be in the position that he is and how hard he's going to continue to work going forward. He racked up a win in Romania. I think he's going to rack up another win this weekend at the Prague Pro. Now, Samson won't be the most conditioned guy in the lineup, especially with Roman Fritz, but he will probably be the most muscular, the most complete, and I think he will be at least a touch better than the Romania Pro. But I hope you guys did indeed enjoy these predictions, the breakdowns. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think and what are your predictions for this show. Can Michael Crizzo sneak out a win? If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Goat Fitness, and that's it. I'm out.